greetings now we will see a simple example of body plot here we will see about how to develop a body plot for a simple problem and also find its gain crossover frequency at a particular gain value the given problem is sketch the body plot for the transfer function k into a square divided by 1 plus 0.2s into 1 plus 0.02s and find the gain k for a gain crossover frequency of 5 radians per second then so what is given this is the transfer function that is given what kind of transfer function is this the given function is a standard open loop transfer function form now what is the first step the first step is to determine the corner frequency of the system so let us find the corner frequency of the system so for two values we have 1 plus 0.2s the other one is 1 plus 0.02s for these two we have to find the corner frequencies the first corner frequency is given by omega c1 which is equal to 1 by 0.2 which is 5 radians per second similarly for the second value 1 by 1 plus 0.02s the corner frequency is 50 radians per second now you may ask how are we determining this who gave these values here comes the standard functions in here we have two values right now this gives us the standard form for the slope phase angle as well as corner frequency so for determining the values of these three parameters so the given function based on the given function there are some standard set of data say for example for the function k which is the gain generally the slope is zero and for it the phase angle is zero degree if the value of k is greater than zero if the value of k is less than zero then the phase angle is minus 180 degree in the same fashion if you see or 1 by s 1 by s power n s s power m and 1 by 1 plus ta into s 1 plus t1 into s these are all some standard functions for each and every function the value of slope the value of phase angle and value of corner frequency is given these have been determined by the scientist at a very very early stage in here this is the function which we actually have 1 by 1 plus ta into s this ta is a constant basically right so what do we have in our problem you can see here so let us leave this k s square so we have 1 by 1 plus 0.2 s which means it is a in the form of 1 by 1 plus ta into s which is given by 1 by ta which will give us the corner frequency of the system here you can refer it see 1 by ta is the corner frequency similarly the value of phase angle as well as the slope is given and we are going to use the value of the slope as well as phase angle in the following slides to come wherein for determining the phase plot and for your magnitude plot we will be determining or we will be requiring this values so we will be using them in the future right yeah now let us move on to the next step wherein as we are going to determine the frequency domain analysis of the given function now let us convert all the s terms into j omega by replacing the s with j omega in the given transfer function this is our given transfer function and now we have an square in the numerator 
as well as 2s in the denominator. Now let us replace all these s with j omega. Therefore, when we do so, the equation becomes k into j omega in the whole square and divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 into j omega into 1 plus 0 0.02 into j omega. Fine. Now, wherein let us first determine the plot for the gain value of k is equal to 1 because we are unaware of what is the value of k. So now let us have it as 1. When k is equal to 1, the equation becomes or the transfer function is given as j omega square divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 into j omega into 1 plus 0 0.02 into j omega. This is our new term. Fine. Now we are into the step 3 to determine the magnitude plot of the given system. How to determine the magnitude plot? Fine. First, let us have the standard forms. What is the standard forms? The table which we saw earlier gives us the standard form. Then, what are the values we have in here? We have three values of S. Fine. What was it actually? First was the S square which we had in the numerator and the equivalent is J into omega in the whole square. Now, I have given the slope value. There is no corner frequency. As there is no change in slope as well because this is the first value. So there is no change in slope. Why don't we have corner frequency? Here comes the answer. See, this is the standard form S power M. So when we have the function as S power M, then the slope is given by plus 20 into M, right? Plus 20 into M. Therefore, here, what it is actually, it is S power 2. S power 2, which is J omega power 2. Therefore, 2 into plus 20, which gives us 40. Right? Done. Then change in slope, as I told you, this is the very first value. So we do not have a change in slope. And you can see here, there is no corner frequency for this. Done. Furthermore, we have two more values, which belongs to the pattern 1 by Ta into S. So for that, what is the slope value? You can see the slope value is minus 20. And wherein there is some value for there is minus tan inverse of omega into Ta is the phase angle. So as of now, we will not require the phase angle. We will move on to the next step. Done. So already we have determined the corner frequency. We know that. Therefore, the corner frequency is given by 1 by 0 0.2, which is equal to 5. And what is the slope here? Minus 20. And the last column change in slope. What is the change in slope? Change in slope is the data or value which is given by the previous slope, previous slope plus the current slope. What is the previous slope value? Here we have 40. So let me bring the 40 right here. What is the current slope? It is minus 20. So when we add these two, the resultant slope is 20. So for the second term, 1 by 1 plus 0 0.2s, the slope value is 20, the sorry, minus 20, change in slope is 20, as well as the corner frequency is 5 radians per second. And these two are in dB per decibel. Now, again, we have a very similar term. So we will determine the value for that as well. Here comes it is, here the term is 1 by 1 plus 0 0.02 into S. And for this, what is the value of your corner frequency? It is 50 radians per second. And we are very much aware the term is very similar to the previous term. Therefore, here also the slope value is 20. What about the change in slope? The previous slope value is 20. I have brought it here. And the current slope value is minus 20. So 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. Right? So we have found the base values for the given system. How to proceed further? What to do next? Now, we as we have only two values, we will choose two more corner frequencies, right? One will be omega CL and other one will be omega CH. That is, it is the lowest value as well as omega CL is the lowest value as well as omega CH is the greater value. How they are less and greater? The omega CL, right? should be less than omega C1. What is the omega C1 here? It is 5. 
right? It is 5. What about omega CH? It is 50. So therefore, we have to choose omega CH such that it is greater than omega C2. So now let us consider two values, one less than 5 and the other one greater than 50. Done. So let me consider, right? Let me consider two more values as one as 0 0.5 radians per second and the other as 100 radians per second. That is omega CL is 0 0.5, whereas omega CH is 100 radians. Now let us find the value of A. What it does actually? It is the magnitude value of the given system. And the magnitude of the given system can be determined as 20 log omega j square, right? Right? So as we have modulus, when we just give value j square into omega square, j square values minus one, we are very much aware. So as it is in the modulus, when we take out, it is going to become a positive value. Hence, the 20 log j omega square becomes as 20 log omega square. Now we have the value of omega. What are they? 0.5, 5, 100, and 54 values. For the first value, when omega is equal to omega CL, the minimum value, the value of A magnitude is minus 12 dB. You can write out with uh, these calc you can write out with calculator and determine the value. The next is for 5 radians per second. C1 omega is equal to C1, 5 radians per second. The next value is what it is. Well, we have determined for 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and the next is 5. That is also that also we have determined. The next is 50. Now, in these two cases. So this is the minimum value and this is our first value. Wherein, when it comes for 50, this is our second value. Here, we have one more component that has to be accounted. What it is actually? That is the change in slope. Therefore, we include that as well into the calculation of magnitude value. So here, change in slope from C1 to C2 into log omega c2 divided by omega c1 that is the current value and the previous value and similarly we are going to add what is the magnitude value at a is equal to omega c1 then what it says is that we are just adding earlier we have determined the value of magnitude and now from that point omega c1 to c2 there is some magnitude right we are calculating that alone and we are just adding it to the previous value for the current location. There is a small change, right? Omega C1 to C2. So for that change, what is the magnitude value? We are determining that and adding it to the actual value what we got earlier. And similarly, when we do that, we know that the change in slope is 20. We can refer the table. And now 50, it is our new, it is our new omega C omega right that is c2 omega c2 divided by omega c1 the value of omega c1 is 5 radians and we are adding 28 what is this 28 is all about it is the magnitude value to determine at omega c1 similarly right similarly we are going to calculate the value of omega when omega is equal to ch omega ch here it comes the same procedure is followed here also. We are calculating the change in slope. We are calculating the magnitude for the change in slope from omega C2 to omega CH, right? And then adding it to the value of magnitude which we got at omega C2. So therefore, what is the value of omega the A at omega C2? It is 48. What is the change in slope between C2 and CH? It is zero. Therefore, this particular terms becomes zero, and we are adding forty-eight. And final values forty-eight values remains the same. Now, now let us tabulate all these values. What are the values? We have four points or four values of omega. 
So the first value I am considering it as A, and the second as B, and the third as C, and fourth as D. And for each point, I am having some value of magnitude as well as omega. What are they? At the first point, when omega C1 is equal to Cl, omega is equal to omega Cl, 0.5, the value of A is minus 12. And for omega C1, wherein the value is 5 radians per second, the value of magnitude is 20 dB. And for the rest of the cases, it is 48 dBs. And for this, let us now mark or plot the magnitude plot. This is a semi log sheet, right? This is a semi log sheet. And the values I have given right here is all or the magnitude values. And here, from here, whichever I have marked is all the angle values for marking, plotting the phase plot. And here we have our value of omega. Done. What are the points now? So here, this is, we start always start with 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1, right? Or it depends on our uh, problem. Now we have the minimum value is 0.5. So I am starting with 0 0.1. And here it is 1. And similarly, it keeps on increasing, right? As multiples of 10 from each and every point. So I have 1 here. So this becomes 10. As I have 10 here, it becomes 100 here. And as I have 100 here, it becomes right here and for each values of the omega let us mark the gain values so for 0.5 it is minus 12 so we have 0.5 here and 12 right here let me mark a point yeah for 0.5 it is 12 and for 5 5 we have 20 db so okay 20 db mark and for 50 we have 48 db then and then for the next value, we are marking it here, 48 dBs for 50 and 100. So you can see for 50, it is 48. And here for 100 also, I marked the points. So for all these four points, we have marked on it. Now let us draw the plot. First, from here to here. And then from here to here in the free hand, let us mark it. Yeah. Now we have our magnitude plot. And what is the value of gain right here? K is equal to 1. We have completed half of the plot. Next to the phase plot. So now to determine the phase plot, this is our transfer function, given transfer function. Now the phase angle value of the system is given by phi, which is equal to the angle of the given transfer function, g of j omega. Earlier, we had the magnitude value of the given transfer function. Now, we are going to have the angle of the transfer function. How to determine the angle? Again, we will go for the standard forms. Here it comes, the standard forms. So for first value, what are the three values we have in here? So we have a numerator value right here, as well as two values in the denominator. Done. So for S power M, which is equal to j omega power m, the value of phase angle is plus 90 degree into m, plus 90 degree into m. So what is the m right here? Here we have two. Therefore, the angle is given by 180. That is 90 into two is 180. Now for the next one, what are this? We have 1 by 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega, which is of the form 1 by 1 plus ta into s. What is the value for that? The value was minus tan inverse omega into ta. Minus tan inverse omega into ta. Fine. So here, what is ta? The, for the first value, it is 0 0.2. Therefore, minus tan inverse 0 0.2 into omega. And what would be the next value? Here we have 0 0.02. Therefore, minus tan inverse 0 0.02 omega. Okay, done. As this is a phase plot, we will consider few more values for the omega. Right? We will consider few more values for the omega so that we will be able to plot the phase plot more easily or conveniently. Done. Shall we do that? Yes, here we go. Here, 
we actually have this is a completed table here we have omega where in 0.5 5 50 and 100 are the values which we had earlier i am adding 1 10 30 and 70 to it and we know that the value of omega are given as in the first column now let us find 0 0.2 omega so we can just multiply the values of omega with 0 0.2 so that we will get this particular column filled. Similarly, next we will determine the value of 0 0.02 omega so that this column is also getting filled, right? From these two values, it will be easy for us to compute than inverse of 0 0.2 omega. So I am doing this step by step so that it will be easy for us to compute the final face value. Else if we directly do it in the calculator, in times we may get confused or we may make mistakes. To avoid errors, I am having this particular table and calculating the values individually. And similarly, I have found the tan inverse of 0 0.02 as well. Once all these values are found, I am going to substitute these values in the above equation. Right? For the first, 180 minus tan inverse of 0 0.2, which is 5.71. And here, tan inverse of 0 0.02, which is 0 0.57. So let me substitute the values right here. So as a result, I have 174 degrees. Likewise, for all the omega values, I am determining the phi value. Once when this is done, we have already the semi-log sheet marked over the value of omega in the x-axis. And to the left y-axis, it is all the magnitude values, wherein to the right, we have marked the angles. Now, for 0.5, it is going to be 174 degrees. So, for 0.5, it is going to be 174 degrees, yes. And then it is 168 for 1, 168 for 1. And for 5, it is 129. 5 is right here. It comes somewhere around here, right? 129. And then for 10, it is 105. For 10, 105. For 30, 68. 120, 30. 30, it is 68. It comes right here. Okay. Done. Okay. Then what else? What next? 50. For 50, it is 51. 51 comes somewhere here. Yes. Then for 70, it is 40. For 70, it is 40. And for 100, it is 29. So now we have marked all the points. Now let us join all these points together, right, with a continuous line. This is our phase plot. So for the given problem, we have drawn. What we have drawn? We have drawn the magnitude plot as well as phase plot. And what is the value of k at this point? The value of k is 1. How did we plot the graph? First, we just took the magnitude values for all the omegas given in the x-axis. We just marked 1 by 1 and then joined them together. Followed by that, we found the phase plot values and that also we just plotted 1 by 1, right? And then connected together. So now we have our phase plot and magnitude plot in the same graph. This is how you will also be drawing done. So the task is completed. We have two tasks given in the problem. One is to find the magnitude and phase plot of the system. And again, what was the second one? We have to find the value of K for five radians per second when omega is equal to when the gain crossover frequency is 5 radians per second, what is the gain value? That is the question. Fine. Now let us do that. So before finding the value of K, what does this gain crossover frequency means? First let us see that. It means the frequency at which the magnitude of g of j omega, that is the given function, is zero decibels, right? Which means the magnitude 
plot whichever we have marked already has to cut the zero decibel line so that is what it means by now this is the plot which we have so what is the value at 5 radians per second let us see so let me draw a line so i have drawn a line at 5 radians per second so this crosses the magnitude plot at 20 decibels but it has to cut or cross at 0 decibels which means i have to bring this plot down here how to do that how can i bring it down so to ensure this graph or this particular plot the magnitude plot crosses the zero decibel line i have to subtract i have to subtract 20 decibels at this particular point not only at this particular point at all points or, or all omega values say omega is equal to 0 0.5 then 5 50 and 100 at all omega points or at all omega i have to do this to ensure that the plot is completely brought down without disturbing the system right so now we know that the 20 log k which is equal to minus 20 db that is i am subtracting 20 right so that is what is minus 20 db now let me subtract 20 from here so it is minus 12 the first point values minus 12 so when i do that it becomes this minus 32 similarly the second point becomes zero and similarly i'm subtracting 20 minus 20 in these two points as well and marking them on the graph now let me draw a line from here to here and from here to here for completing the plot right so now we have our new magnitude plot. Now what is the value of k? That is what is our requirement. So now, so then 20 log k is equal to minus 20. Therefore log k is equal to minus 20 by 20, which is equal to minus 1. Therefore log k is equal to minus 1. We can either have it directly or as minus 1, which means k is equal to 10 power minus 20 by 20 or minus 1 so which can be given as k is equal to 10 to the power minus 1 which is 0 0.1 so k value is 0 0.1 when the gain crossover frequency is 5 radians per second so with this we just complete the given task 